Oh, oh dear. Good morning, guys. Welcome back to another ZooCast. Wah -ha, yeah -ha. I'm so excited. We have things to do, places to go, people to see. We need to really drop off um, this new pick over at Kaffer's place, which we'll probably do very, very shortly. But the sun is shining. Bailey is here. How you doing, Bailey? Let me just double check and make sure he's okay. I need to give him... One pork chop, I think. Lovely. Um, and how's the cultivator doing so far? Nope, not the cultivator, the analyzer. Yes. Um, so we've got some one more, one more of these stone tablets. We've got we've got so much stuff. We've got so much stuff. I'll tell you what I'm going to do, Bailey. I'm going to quickly nip downstairs and I'm going to pick up that super awesome glass uh, chest here that's got loads of space. And I'm going to to take it upstairs and use it. I just need to take the to. to get a chance to, to actually pick it up and then we'll come back downstairs and we'll pick up all this stuff afterwards and we'll put it all together upstairs because then we'll have a lot more space which is pretty much exactly what we need so just going through the stuff there's the iguana egg there it is right i've got the chest out so we're going to nip upstairs too much stuff too much stuff bailey too much stuff uh, we're going to take away one half of this, are we? Or are we going to put down a new one? Let's put down... No, I think we're going to take away half this half of this one. Uh, or actually, we could take away this. We don't need this anymore. The, the, the furnace here. That's uh, been used. I don't think I require it anymore. I don't have anything. I don't want to take use my hammer on it. Because I'm a bit worried that it's going to explode something. Uh, but this should just make basically make it just disappear. We don't need it. It's not important. Yep, there you go. Goodbye. It might have had some stuff in it, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just going to literally just dump all of my stuff, everything, in this chest up here. And then we will sort out the rest. Oh, that, I've got an empty, completely empty backpack, Bailey. I'm sitting here struggling with all this space. And I've got, oops, Daisy. Try not, <laughs> try not to run up the roof. Uh, come back down here, get all this stuff. Oh, that's such a satisfying sound when it picks up all those things. Uh, that is awesome. So we do have actually a quest to do today, guys. We want to try to get some more impressive ores. Uh, and to do that, it looks like the best thing for us to do is actually go to get some interesting type of ores. Ores, he says. Uh, and the way we're going to do that, Bailey, you're going to wait here, because I, I don't want you to get hurt. Uh, the way we're going to do that is we're going to go to the nether. The nether, which is a very dangerous, very scary place. Uh, and some may call me crazy for going on my own, but I think the girls are a little bit too nervous of the nether. I, I mean, you know, no, no, no offense to them, because it is a, a very scary place. And it's not somewhere that I'm looking forward to going, but if we're ever going to get anything good that we can use, we're going to have to go there. And it looks like, first things first, guys, first things first, we actually need some obsidian. Now, if I... Oh, there's an iron chest in here as well. If I take uh, a bucket or two, uh, take this lava bucket, go get some water, and I can make obsidian that way, can't I? Pouring... Pouring water on top of lava, I think that does it. But that's only one piece. That won't that won't work well. Uh, we're gonna have to go down into the the depths of the underbelly of the world. Uh, and also, I was told the kaffirs might have left something outside the front. Hello, Mr. Scorpion. Um, I don't want you around here. Thank you. Yeah, someone. I, I was told that there might have been something around here, but there's nothing. Nothing that I can see. Hmm. Some of my viewers might be a bit confused because there doesn't seem to be anything apart from this awesome dwarf elder plant here. I'm not sure if that was uh, Kaffir's doing, but uh, it's okay. It's okay. We've we've got some really cool. Oh no! I tell a light. There's literally a chest, just literally here, sitting outside my house. Well, that's good. Did I not? Did that happen before? Was that here last time? Did I just like completely miss that? I can't imagine that I did, unless we went in the front door. Hey, Mr. Sabertooth Tiger, you doing okay? All right, all right, everyone wants to see what's in the chest. Should we see? Should we see? Should we see? Oh, yeah. That's cool. Oh, an obsidian pickaxe head and a bone one as well. Oh, these are these are very good things. These are very good things indeed. Okay, we'll take all this. Get out of here, spider. Bam. Bam. Yeah, that's right. Uh, okay, so we've got lo loads more patterns and stuff that we need to put away. Um, but we need to also go down and try to find some... 
where the, I, I think actually at the back of the reptile house that well there was a hole there because that's how we got back up again I don't know if we can see one anymore it might be that it's been taken out now mm, we'll have to go have a look we'll have to go have a look uh, so this chest this can be moved away as well but I'm not going to do all that right now I'm literally just going to be like blah, 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 throw everything away uh, I need to pick up some I'll just wear the basic armor because we're not going to get we're not going anywhere too dangerous at the moment we're literally just going downstairs into the nether. Uh, not into the nether, into the uh, the depths of the world. Now, I do have a diamond pickaxe somewhere. There's no point in building one if I've already got one. Is there, Bailey? No. No, there's not. I also have quite a few levels, so it might be quite good for me to uh, do some bits and pieces in there as well. Mm. Oh, there we go. There it is. Found it. Yes. Perfect. Perfect. 100% That's That's amazing. That's awesome. Okay. Right, so we've got our diamond pickaxe that's going to be good for 188 pieces of obsidian, which is going to be enough. That's fine then. So let's let's just head out and leave the door open because, you know, YOLO. Uh, and we're going to head down into the back of the reptile house to see if we can find this way back down into the lava area, if it still exists. Or Seri may have patched it up already. Um... Oh, a little butterfly. A little butterfly. Hello, little butterfly. Yeah, it looks like... And this is over here. Hello, Chocobo. Hey, Mr. Chocobo. Give me a banana. Um, Thank you very much. I needed a banana and you've given me one. Yeah, that was a song. That was quite a good song. Okay, Uh, right. So it looks like the, the original way down has been kind of taken out. Or re-put back up I don't know words um, so it looks like we're going to have to go and try to find a cave that we can sort of like hop down into real quick so we can get enough obsidian to make this this fine thing unless 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 Seri has some obsidian that we can just borrow because that might be a whole, whole lot easier just to just borrow some of hers and then give it back to her once we've finished here we've got patches here patches and cherry Wow. Bun Bun. All these bunnies are doing very well, which is good to see. Oh, look at this little house here. Little 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 place. Ah. Oh, so exciting. So exciting. Might be uh might be making a little little bit of a spoiler there for people, I'm not sure. I don't know. I don't know how far seri has got with her with her rabbits, but I'm sure somebody will let me know. Oh look, it's Tate. Hey Tate. Hello, hello, hello. Hope you're okay. He looks fine, doesn't he? Oh, look at this amazing house here. Oh, it's, oh, it's just too good. Just too, it's just too amazing. It's too amazing. But I'm not going to spend any time looking at uh, too much of Seri stuff because I don't want to spoil anything for her. I'm sure she's working very hard on all this cool stuff to show you guys if she hasn't already. So, yeah, there we go. Okay, so, staff room. In. Okay, let's have a look here. I'm sure Seri won't mind me just having a quick look through. I'm sure you guys watching actually know <laughs> where her stuff is anyway. Hello cats. Don't need any of her books. Well, don't need any of the safari balls. What does that say? All the animals. Okay. Uh, aha. Well there's six pieces of obsidian. That makes our job a little bit easier. We need more. We need more. Oh, that's the furnace. No. Major Calhoun, have you seen any more obsidian anywhere? Okay, it looks like so is six enough? No, that's not. It needs to be ten, I think, is the minimum minimum requirement. Um, did we put even anything in here? No. There's not going to be any in the kitchen, is there? That would be that would be that would be ridiculous. That would be ridiculous. Okay. Well, we, I'm sure that Sari won't mind if we borrow this temporarily. We will take it back to her once we have finished using it for getting to and from the Nether. Uh, and then once that's been taken care of, then we I'm not going to go into her house and stuff. That's a bit too, it's a bit too personal. Uh, but once we've once we've kind of like gone through the Nether and come back again, we can not worry too much and just head back ourselves and give it back to her. Very straightforward. Very straightforward. We are we are leasing leasing it. Maybe if we can find some more obsidian because I don't have enough yet. That's not enough. Uh, so we are gonna hello, Mr. Boar. I know you're gonna you're gonna give me a little bonk on the head there. Aha, now we can go through this, um, oh, there was a canyon thing, wasn't there, around here somewhere. Uh, it was behind the barn, uh, that way, I think. There was like a little canyon. It doesn't matter if it's getting dark, because we're going down into caves anyway. So let's see if we can find that real quick. 
Have a look on the minimap as well in the top right there. See if we can see the little crack. There's a crack there. Does that go all the way down? Let's have a look. It does go down. Do we have any... I actually don't have any torches on me. Do we have any wood? Or like anything? No. Right. Well then this is... This is probably the, one of the more, more unsensible things that we are doing here. So we'll just see if we can get ourselves back up again without too much hassle. Can I take out some individual blocks? Thank you. I'll go over here. Uh, we'll get out our mattock and take those out. Now the mattock's going to be quite good here because we can just go like this and take out this whole tree. Bam. Lovely. And then maybe be another one I always like I don't like to become sort of like not have enough wood especially when we're doing sort of like exploring and we don't know how long we're going to be down there for um, so we've got one oak sampling that we can use to replant a tree here anyway so that's fine the replantation scheme is going well ah ow my legs okay uh, coal and let's get some of this wood into planks we'll keep uh, five pieces just in case we'll make 56 of those and there we go make 24 torches i always have the torches like right at the very end but they could be one in that's fine okay there we go so we now have a, a lighting type thing which is nice to be able to see um now this, this actually looks like it's going to be like a complete dead end unfortunately which is a little bit of a shame but i'll tell you what we can do we can just dig straight down. Now, I know that everyone is probably screaming at me and saying, don't you remember what happened to you last time, Kath, when you dug straight down? Yes, I do remember what happened last time when I dug straight down. It wasn't good, and I don't recommend it to anybody else apart from us highly skilled workers. <laughs> I'm not skilled in any way, guys. That's not true. Uh, I'm just careless and foolhardy, I think is what people would say. Uh, take out that, take out that, take out that. We've actually got to go quite a, quite a far way down, so this may take a little bit of time, but it's okay. 39, 38, 37, we're getting there. Uh, put the torch up. Keep on going. We've actually already managed to get some iron. There we go. Boom, iron. There's some more iron on the side there. We just don't need it. We've got too much iron from the quarry, so it's just not important. Uh, go. 27. Getting there now. Uh, some cool stuff here. Nice. Why not? Yeah. Oh, some copper. Yeah, lovely. May as well just take it. Oh, there's no difference. Oh, an emerald. Well, I'll take that because we need to put more of it into our uh, little smeltery that we've got going on. So that's absolutely fine. Lovely jubbly. Uh, okay, so another torch. We've probably got some more coal on us now, so we can make some more torches when we need to, uh, which we will probably do once we get to the correct level. Here we go. Right, so we're at the correct level. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put a torch above this one, and above this one, and above this one, and above this one. We're going to use this pick to get this one piece of emerald there. And now we're going to go each direction, and we're going to just sort of see what we can find. I can hear... Oh, well, there you go. <laughs> we managed to make it. Isn't that good? Uh, all this permafrost here needs to get 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 gone, get gone permafrost. No one likes you. Oh, I didn't bring any water. Oh. Hot damn, hot damn pizza bread. That's fine. I'm sure we'll be able to find some obsidian that is naturally formed. So let's not worry too much about that. Well, in fact, there's actually just some water here. So let's do the sciency thing and go like this and go like this and not ignore the big scary noises. Because that's obviously very, very important to so just ignore that. And there we go. So now we have a place where we can get some obsidian from. So let's just do this quickly. This takes a little bit of time to mine, but we're not too worried. Uh, go on. Yeah, we got it. Okay, good. So that's good. So we've now got seven. We need three more, but where I am there is underwater. That's a werewolf. That's okay. It's fine. There's no problem. So if we just make a quick makeshift wall there. And then we can just focus on getting these pieces, which is fine. I think we've got eight and we've got seven. Okay, so we need to get three more, which I think we can do. So we'll take out the ones which we can reach. Now, what I'm doing here, guys, is holding down shift and mining and holding down forwards as well. So you see how I kind of like walked over the lava there, picked up the piece of obsidian before it had a chance to fall down into the lava. So we managed to keep it, which is very, very important. Okay, here we go. So we'll take this one as well. That's done. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take out this piece 
let the water come back in, seal those back up again, close the water off, uh, and then come back with the pick and take this one. And then, I mean, I might as well take a couple more, I guess. Saying as well, well, we don't, we don't need to. We don't. There's no point in doing any more work than we have to. Um, I will take one for an emergency though, because I might make a mistake and uh, and break one or lose one or something might happen, and that would be terrible. I can hear a zombie. Can you hear a zombie? Ah! He doesn't want me to take one. I just, I just want to take this, this last one, Mr. Zombie. I'm sorry for having to kill you. <laughs> nope. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. Here we go. So that's now 10 pieces. Oh god, that was very, very close. So we're going to stop and run away from that. Uh, we're going to throw away a couple of these. See, look, I've already got a full inventory. That's how quickly this happens. It's ridiculous. So now we're just going to do a little bit of a... This is really good. It's going surprisingly, surprisingly quickly. What I'll probably do is have to cordon this off so people don't fall down it too badly. Uh, we're back up now anyway, so that's fine. So if we just make a sort of a, a thing here just so that people don't fall fall down <laughs> into the depths of of the world too too easily, because uh, that could be quite painful. And then we're just going to have to make another little nerve pole up here in the corner, because otherwise we won't be able to get up. And I'm surprised that it's night time. Does that mean that it's about to be daytime? Uh, oh, there's a little bit left. A little bit of sun left. Uh, right, okay, so we need to head back now. Where are we going to put the portal, though? I guess next to the Twilight Forest portal. Is that my house? That's my house. Oh! Hey, Mr. Zebra. Put a record on. I want to dance with you, Jiggly. Okay, we'll put it We'll put it out, out the front there. In fact, I'll tell you what we can do. We can put it in that sort of random hole that I made during the outro of the last episode when we were testing out Kaffa's new pick um, which actually worked quite well I was pretty impressed with my with my amazing amazing thing that I made uh, right so we can make this here now in order for us to do this we need to go uh, and make like a framework so it's gonna be uh, like that is it or is it going to be two? Is it too wide? I think it's too. Yeah, it's too wide at the top. So you go bam, bam, and then bam, 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 and then you go bam, bam, and then these three here. Bam, 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 bam. Done. Okay, so we have one, one more emergency piece, which we actually don't need now because luckily. I managed to put it in without messing things up, which I normally do. So I feel pretty lucky about that. Um, we could probably just actually put in just a row of cobblestone next to. Oh, actually, no, it's fine because it is. It is. It does actually. It just doesn't quite line up, which is a bit of a shame. Uh, so we're going to eat a bit of food because we are very hungry. We've got torches if needs be. This is, this is the first time that we're going to be going to the Nether on this server, I think. So there may be a small, like a little, a little little bit of lag just while it downloads the new world or creates the new world but that's fine I don't mind too much we'll put away some things in this crystal chest here literally all this stuff now are we actually wearing all of our armor as well uh, actually we'll put these emeralds straight in the smeltery because I want to use those if I can at some point still lots of iron in here and everything uh, can we just take some of the iron out please is that gonna be okay just make a bit of room effectively Put this in here with this, and then go like that, and then go like that. There we go. Cool. Okay. So that's fine. Uh, sun's rising, which is, makes a difference to us. What we do need to do, though, is we need to get one piece of iron. Um, what did I do with it? Oh, in fact, come on, calf. One piece of iron uh, and a flint, which, uh, is that right? Flint and steel to light the... I think that is it. There we go. Uh, other way around, this way. There we go. Perfect. Lovely. Well, that's fine then, Bailey. I'm going to feed you one last time before I head out. Boop, there we go. Uh, I'll put those up there somewhere. We'll put this old chest plate on. <laughs> um, and we will take... No, in fact, you know what? Let's use a few of these diamonds because we're, we're going to just like die ridiculously otherwise. What do we have? We have uh, some cool shades we have to take. We're going to go into battle mode here, guys. This is like battle mode engage. Uh, feet, because you know, need that. Uh, legs, was it legs? Let's just double check. 
No, I've already got legs. It was actually chest plate. I don't have enough to... Oh, no, I do. I do have enough. Okay. And hat. There you go. Right. Full diamond gear. Um, do we have an enchanting table? Do we have enough to make an enchanting table? I think the answer is no to both questions, but there is one over at Seri's place. Okay. We've got, we've got a reasonably good sword, so that's not a problem. I'll take the cutlass just in case as an emergency. And we'll go and enchant our gear. Or oh, we'll take the looting, uh, the Fortune 2 pick as well. Because that is going to be really useful. Uh, in fact, I might just replace that one and, and put that back away again. Uh, yes, okay. That's fine. Right, I don't think I need anything else. We definitely need that. And then that's it. So let's go and head down to here. And outside the back of the house. And then over to Sarah's staff room so we can use her enchanting table. And put all, just like some low level chance on our gear. Uh, because it's kind of important that we have just some... I mean if we would just get some basic prop protection would be good. Some All these old chests here. Oh dear idea. That's really cool. I love all these houses as well. Hello! Hello everybody! Oh, everything's being all sort of like excavated out and stuff. It's looking really nice actually. I love the fact that all the grass... Hello Mr. Creeper! He didn't blow up because I ran past so fast. He was like, whoa, that guy's quick! Okay, I'm in. Yeah, that works. Hello everybody! Uh, right, okay. So, we need to take these things off. Uh, and then we need to put them in one by one. So we've got level 6, 12. So we need four things. 6, 12, 18, 24. So that would, that would work. So there we go. So protect our protection. Uh, we got... Um, we've got 22 left, which is 6, 12, 18. So we can do it 8. That's fine. Protection 1. Okay, that's good. That's not, you know, it's not bad. Uh, we can, we've got enough to do a 2, 7s or an 8 and a 6. Um, so we'll do a... We'll do a seven here. Protection one again. And we'll do another seven if we can get it. There we go. Protect child protection. Okay, so we've got some skeleton protection, which is probably quite good for the nether. Uh, and also the projectiles that the ghasts do. I really hope that that kind of works. I'm going to leave these two diamonds. Um, where did we get the... I can't remember. We're just going to leave these two diamonds just here as, as payment uh, to, <laughs> to Seri for, uh, for taking that obsidian. I'm sure that would be... Sufficient. Okay, off we go. We're off. I do know we need to get like a load of obsidian though, if we can, um, because well, I could probably try and use the hammer. That might work. I don't know. I have to give it a go. Um, because at the end of the day, we're gonna need to use a lot of obsidian in some tool making because it is very, very powerful, uh, and it's a really cool thing to to do and to use keeps things moving and it's pretty much the same as diamond from what I understand so we might have to come back to the nether at some point and do that but and this is just a temporary kind of like quick look to see if there's any obvious great sort of chemicals uh, uh, not chemicals sorry uh, interesting stuff and interesting ores and things there we go this is uh, this is a, a new frontier for for Kafkind we haven't been to the nether on this server uh, Okay. Oh, we're in. Straight in. Straight in. Okay. So, there's the portal. We're going to move away from it because we all know that what happens when gas shoot at you, they can they can put out the uh, they can put out the portal. So that's fine. Okay. So there doesn't seem to be. What is this crazy thing here? Bones. Medium bone segment from biomes are plenty. Wow. Nether biomes. Oh my God. What? Who's that? Oh God. It's a fire ogre. It's a fire ogre. You got You can't sort of hide away and and, uh, and not attack them. You have to. You have to go full speed. I need some more torches as well. This is not. What is that up there? Oh my god! I have no idea what that is. That looks. That looks pretty crazy. Um, it doesn't seem like there's like any ores that are like immediately take taking my eye apart from that up there, which we will quickly grab. Oops, 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 oops. No, okay, there's only one of them here. No, there's not one here. Uh oh. <laughs> we've, we've, we have angered the pigmen, and that was not a good idea. Is everybody else okay? Yeah, okay, that's fine. Oh dear, oh dear. This is really scary. Okay, right, so we're going to head up here. 
We're just going to quickly get this ore to just examine it and see what happens when you put it in a smeltery. I'm going to put out that fire and put a torch there in its stead. And we're going to use the, as a cobalt ore, and we're going to use the, the looting pick to take it out to hopefully get a bit more out of whatever comes out of it. Nope, didn't work. But that's fine. <laughs> okay, well. Oh, oh, you're kidding me. We're right next to a, a thingamabob. And by thingamabob, I mean jigamawatsit. And by jigamawatsit, I mean um, stronghold. Yes, there we go. Well, that's that's a, that's a spot of luck <laughs> and a half, isn't it? Um, okay, well that's fine. Oh, there's the no, oh, oh, there's one of these things here. Should we go? I feel no, I'm too nervous. I'm too nervous. We're gonna come back. We'll find out what that is next time because uh, yeah, that's pretty. That's pretty scary. At least the portal comes out in the right place. Sun's high in the sky. Don't look directly at the sun, guys. That's not good. Oh my god. Well, what an experience, what an adventure. We've we've got a couple of things, but what we want to really do is try and find some more ores, which we will probably end up doing next time. We might have to make a potion of night visibility because we couldn't see very well at all, unfortunately. Okay, there we go. I'm going to put some more stuff in there. I'm going to take this cobalt ore and whack it in and see what happens. We've actually got, yeah, we've got four points of emerald now, which is really cool. And hopefully we'll be able to just get rid of this iron a little bit quickly. I want some more of that cobalt so I can use it to make like a cobalt pick or something. Did we have a look? Where's that book? Where's that book? Uh, there, it's probably in here. Yeah, there it is. Materials and you by Skylar. Let's see what it says about cobalt. Uh, it's down here somewhere, I think, isn't it? Tool stations, sharpness, and stuff. Oh my god, this book has got loads of information here that I didn't even realize it had. Man, oh man. Okay. This is, none of this is, is useful, though. We need to go back. Uh, cobalt. Here we go. Requ uh, one of the nether materials. It's bright blue, requires the smeltery. Um, it's good. It's got a good durability. It's got a good mining speed, actually, so it'll make a good pickaxe. Um, okay, so I don't think we have enough yet, and it's, it's still, you know, it's still cooking. Still cooking in there somewhere. There it is. You can see it. Just getting getting hot. Hey Bailey, by the way. How you doing? You okay? Do you need any more food? Or are you okay? 113. You're you're absolutely fine. Well, thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the episode. Next time we're gonna head back to the Nether with uh, with more torches and more lighting, and we're gonna get ourselves a hell of a lot of that ore, and hopefully make up make everybody some really interesting weapons. But until next time, thank you very much for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to the CAFCast for more awesome ZooCast. But until then, I'll see you all next time. Take care. You've been watching the CAFCast. We hope you had enjoyed the show. Don't forget to check out all of our other videos. Oh, and be sure to subscribe to us if you like what you see. That way I'll know to make more And that you really like me So You've been watching the Gafcast We hope you have enjoyed the show Don't forget to check out All of our other videos